Doreen Birdsell, photographer and also a public speaker. I have been the photographer for Plane Tree for quite a few years, maybe the past five or six years here at the conferences, as well as doing other photo work for them at their hospitals, and also doing workshops, uh, speaking at seminars, also last year speaking on the radio broadcast that they're doing here as well, telling my story as a survivor of addiction, abuse, and illness, and I bring that also to others. I believe and know that pain shared is halved and joy shared is doubled. And telling our stories is the healing factor for others to not feel alone, so they can identify, and so they can feel as though they're embraced, that they're in community and not isolated on the periphery. This year, one of the topics that I chose to speak about, actually inspired to speak about, was and is the power of healing prayer. And little did I know that soon to come, one of my closest friends would be diagnosed with stage four lung cancer. And my first inclination was to start a prayer group for her. So on Sundays at 6 p.m., going on currently, we send out a phone number with an access code, a conference call, so that Loretta can dial in and hear all of her loved ones, friends, family, people that don't even know her call in because other people know the power of prayer. And when I say the power of prayer, that is the power of love. It's the power of love. And one of the underpinnings, the necessary underpinnings for the effectiveness of prayer is believing. Believing equals receiving. It is as powerful or more powerful than Newton's law of gravity. Because what you believe, you can receive. And I have seen such an incredible change in this friend, Loretta, who has embraced these prayers, even though her journey has taken her to very dark places. She came to know that her attitude was the most important factor in her healing to receive all of the love that she could embrace and that no matter what her circumstances were, mortality is an eventuality for all of us. And it isn't what we go through that matters, but it's how we go through what we go through that matters. Only a week ago, we were talking about hospice care for Loretta because her hemoglobin levels had dropped so low, chemotherapy wasn't working, and she was bleeding internally. Two days later, actually my partner and I accompanied her to the doctor because her partner was too sick to even show up and too afraid that they would cut her off of treatment and that the next course of action would be just to prepare her for her crossing over. We went for the transfusion. Two days later, her blood levels increased. We were praying for eights. It increased to a 10.8. She had color in her cheeks again. They agreed to continue with immunotherapy. The bleeding had ceased. Now, is this the power of healing prayer? I think part of it is, but it isn't just about the physical aspect of the manifestation of I want to be cured because of course we all want to live healthy, vibrant lives and just go to bed one night and wake up in heaven or wherever else it is we think we're going, right? But it's about the transformational process of witnessing someone responding to love. And that love comes in the form of what we call prayer, which really means conversation. Some people are put off by the word prayer because of the religious training they may have had that was incorrect. But all prayer means is conversation. Prayer is just a petition. Prayer is something that we bring not from our mind to be effective, but from our heart. And that's where the change begins. Of the practice of prayer or surrounding someone spiritually is such an important factor in health care. This is what I see. I had another friend that just passed away last month of bladder cancer. 
And when he got to an end stage, here comes the chaplain, or here comes the priest. We do not need a spiritual person to be with us when we're reaching that threshold. We need that person there to get us on the path way before we get to that threshold. So when we get to that threshold, we are prepared to receive, to surrender, to let go, and to thank God. I believe in a God, my creator, that has brought us to this place and will bring us to another even greater still. But I think it's so important to incorporate the spiritual aspects of the power of believing spiritually into health care. That is health. Thank you.